Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTM C231, Standard Test Method for Air Content of Freshly Mixed Concrete by the Pressure Method. This video demonstrates an air content test using a type of B meter and concrete with a slump greater than or equal to 1 inch. Dampen the measure and remove any standing water from the bottom. Place the measure on a firm level base. Fill the measure to about one third of its volume. Move the scoop around the perimeter to evenly distribute the concrete. Rod the bottom layer 25 times with the rounded end of the tamping rod. Evenly distribute the roddings across the concrete surface. Rod completely through the entire depth of the layer without damaging the mold bottom. Tap the sides of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close the voids left by rotting and to release trapped air pockets. Fill the measure to approximately two-thirds of its volume. Evenly distribute the concrete while placing. Rod the second layer 25 times with the tamping rod. Penetrate the first layer about one inch with each stroke. Tap the sides of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close voids. For the third layer, fill the measure to slightly above the rim. Rod the top layer 25 times with the tamping rod. Penetrate the second layer about one inch with each stroke. Tap the sides of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close voids. Prior to strike off, add or remove concrete as needed to achieve approximately an eighth of an inch of concrete above the rim. Do not perform any additional rottings. Strike off the measure. If using a strike off bar, use a sawing motion with the bar in a horizontal position to produce a smooth level finish. Pull concrete toward low areas until the measure is full and flush with the rim. A strike-off plate can also be used for strike-off. See ASTM C138 density video for a demonstration of the procedure. Completely clean the flange and rim of the measure. Clean under the flange to prevent clamping issues. Clean the cover assembly and gasket. Place the cover directly over the measuring bowl and seat securely by pressing down on all sides. Clamp the cover assembly to the measure by clamping opposite clamps at the same time. Ensure the fingers of the clamp are fully engaged under the flange of the measure. Ensure both petcocks are open. Open is when the lever is aligned with the petcock. Closed is when the lever is at a 90 degree angle to the petcock. Inject water into one petcock until water emerges from the opposite side. Jar the meter while filling until all air is expelled from beneath the cover assembly. Top off both petcocks with water. Close the air bleeder valve by rotating the cap clockwise until secure. Pump air into the pressure chamber until the dial gauge hand is on the initial pressure line. If the meter fails to hold air pressure, there may be a leak. Tap the dial gauge lightly with your fingers until the reading is stabilized. If overpressurized, loosen the cap on the air bleeder valve by turning it counterclockwise 
bleed off some air and re-tighten the cap. Use small pumps to fine-tune the pressure. Tap the gauge and ensure the correct initial pressure was achieved. The initial pressure mark is generally written on the dial face with the initial pressure lines just below the zero mark. Close both petcocks. Pick up the mallet and open the main air valve by pressing down on the topmost lever. Immediately tap the sides of the measure with the mallet to release the trapped air while continuing to hold the main air valve open. Tap the dial gauge lightly with your fingers until the reading is stable, still holding the main air valve open. A reading which doesn't stabilize indicates a leak and an invalid test. Read the dial gauge, then release the main air valve. To release the pressure from the meter, cover the petcocks loosely with your hands and open both petcocks. Unclamp and remove the cover. To help prevent sticky valves and clogged petcocks, clean the underside of the cover assembly as soon as possible. If the dial reading is 8% or less, subtract the aggregate correction factor and report the air content to the nearest 0.1%. If the dial reading is greater than 8%, subtract the aggregate correction factor and report the air content to the nearest half scale division. For more information on the aggregate correction factor, see the aggregate correction factor video. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.